Hello and welcome back to the Olden Shot. For this video I'm using one of my all-time favourite cameras, the Olympus OM10 with the standard Zwico 50mm f1.8 lens. Um, it was shot on Raleigh RPX 400 and some of the shots are taken naked and some with a red filter. Both sets will be shown separately. Before we look at the photos, I want to discuss the subject. I shoot a lot in cemeteries and some people find this subject a little delicate. So I want to talk about my own personal guidelines for being respectful. First, I don't shoot recent graves and I try to set my limit to memorials no less than 50 years old. That isn't a hard and fast rule. Second, I would never shoot messages left with flowers or show people visiting graves. Third, I leave the site as I found it, though I may remove small items of litter that have been left by other people. I don't worry about posting photos of old headstones because there are memorials, these are memorials, and I'm actually perpetuating the memory. Some of the inscriptions reveal tragic stories, but if I've shot them it's because the stories have actually moved me. Some of the inscriptions inspired me to do some research which revealed two swimming tragedies which occurred at Blythe Beach. One was in 1914 and the other in 1917. Every photographer, of course, has their own individual set of rules for different subjects and I would never say that mine are the only correct ones. But cemeteries are great subjects. All I would say is be respectful. We'll have a look at the photographs and then we'll come back and discuss them. So there we have the photographs, um, I'm quite happy with the shots that I got, even though before I went out I wasn't feeling very inspired, but it shows it's important, even if you're not feeling inspired, get out there, shoot some photographs, sooner or later you'll get your mojo back. Um, the camera and the film I think worked very well but um, I don't know if it was the film or the camera I only got 35 shots out of it before I couldn't wind any further now I loaded the camera in the normal way pulled the leader across put it in the slot made sure that it was taken up wound across one closed the back shot it I'd set the count at S, I wound it on, shot it, wound it on, shot it, until it was at number one. 
and that's how I normally do all my film loading in cameras but by the time I got to frame 36 I couldn't do a full wind and I didn't want to force it so I got 35 shots so I don't know if it's the camera winding too many before it gets to number one or whether the RPX 400 isn't as long as some other films doesn't matter I got 35 good shots all well exposed um, mainly shot on the aperture priority with the OM10 and the meter seems to be working fine I mentioned earlier the swimming tragedies at Blythe Beach the one in 2014 was a group of miners must have been a day off they'd gone down to the beach and they'd gone into the sea and got into difficulties there are some strong currents at Blythe and one has to be very careful swimming at Blythe they got into difficulties some of them got out and I think six died two of the photographs feature two of those people's headstones rest in peace in 1917 um, there was a group of soldiers and um, I don't know if they'd been on manoeuvres or marching but the officers allowed them to have a rest on the beach and they went into the sea and it said that some of these soldiers had never seen the sea before a lot of them couldn't swim and they got into difficulties an officer tried to organise rescue they set up a chain of people a chain of soldiers going into the sea and they managed to get three or four out um, the rest were lost um, I think it was nine died including the officer who went back in to try and save more people and today's November the 11th it was during wartime but I don't think they were classed as being on active service all I can say is rest in peace to those soldiers lest we forget that's it for this video Thanks for watching. Goodbye.